Ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we will be going over all of the details that we know so far about the upcoming Destiny 2 Into the Light release. Spoiler alert, if you don't want to know any of these details, please click off the video now. I'll go ahead and give you seven seconds. Okay, if you're still here, you have been warned. All of the information I'm about to give you is coming from the Destiny 2 Developer Livestream Part 1 that was actually released earlier on today. Let me just mention, for a game that a lot of people was saying is dead, there was well over 80,000 people watching this stream. So that's still a lot of people, but yeah. But before we continue on with the video, this video is brought to you by Hyper Controllers. They are the first company to ever put Hall Effect thumbsticks inside a PS5 controller, which means no stick drift. You can customize your own controller or shop for a pre-made one. You can customize a controller for PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC with custom shells, extra paddles or buttons with a remappable chip, Hall Effect sensors, mouse click bumpers and triggers, and much more. Hyper Controllers offers a one year warranty on all of their controllers. You can check them out by going to hypercontrollers.com and you can use promo code RXRP to save 5% off your order. Okay, so let's hop into what we've seen in this reveal. To start off, we'll be getting a new three player activity called Onslaught that will be available to everyone in Destiny 2. This activity will be a wave defense activity, AKA a horde mode with many enemies coming to destroy your ADU. In short, all you gotta do is keep your ADU running, kill waves of enemies to get scraps, which let you upgrade your weapons, and repair your ADU via batteries that drop from yellow bar enemies. These enemies are being sent to you by the witness in multiple locations to prevent us from going through the portal. Some of the enemy factions that we will be facing are the Fallen and the Hive, which will show up in the last city, also AKA Midtown, and the taking will also be in this activity, but in a different area that Bungie has not disclosed to us yet. Be prepared to fight waves upon waves of enemies that actually get harder as you progress. Onslaught will feature a 10 wave playlist as well as a 50 wave playlist. Matchmaking will be available for both wave types and you will be able to use the in-game LFG for this activity as well. Next, Lord Shax will be the in-game vendor for Onslaught. Now, I'm not sure how they're gonna differentiate the Crucible and Onslaught, given that Onslaught is in fact a PVE activity, and well, Lord Shax does Crucible, which is PVP. So we're just gonna have to wait and see what actually happens. As I had mentioned before, there will be a playlist. It will feature a normal legend, and I'm assuming a master difficulty. They specifically mentioned a GM level within the reveal, so I'm assuming it's going to be Master Difficulty. I had also mentioned weapons, but I'm not talking about the ones that we hold. I'm talking about defensive weapons like turrets, tripwires, and we'll actually get a sweeping bot decoy. Each of these defensive weapons will help you maintain the power of your EDU, and they can upgrade to level three, but the higher the level, the more of the cost of scraps it will be. These levels will increase the weapon's fire rate, health, and ammo if it applies. Scrap is the currency for your EDU, and it is individual based, but you can upgrade another member's defensive weapon that they had actually deployed. Now, if one of your defensive weapons are destroyed, you will need to repurchase it again, but it will be at level one, and then you will have to upgrade it again so be mindful of the location you place it in as well as their health pools. Each wave will get harder and harder and you will be given mini objectives like pyramid splinters to find and shoot, which this actually forces one of your members to leave the area and your ADU in order to complete it while the other team members are back defending the ADU. Every sixth wave, you will fight one of the witnesses bosses inside of the pyramid ships. These bosses do not have any shields. Instead, each boss has a mini mechanic that allows you to take down their health a lot faster. One of these mechanics is called Augmentation Wells, where when you step into them, you actually do more damage to the boss, kind of like how a Warlock Well actually works. I am not sure if an Augmented Well 
in a warlock well would actually stack we will just have to wait until um onslaught and into the light is released to find that out and these mechanics will rotate depending on the boss that you are fighting during each encounter you will be facing different enemy types in these waves for example in one wave you could have hive thrall and wizards and in another wave you can be fighting ogres and explodey thralls but the higher waves you go the harder enemies you will fight like different types of champions so make sure to bring your barrier unstoppable and overload weapons and abilities after you defeat a boss you will return to the area you were in but in a different location now your old defenses will remain active and still be able to help out if enemies come their way unfortunately this week we aren't able to see any of the new weapons or reprised weapons that are coming back into destiny 2 but we did get a glimpse of the hung jury sr4 that will be making a return and it does have like a new paint job on it as well another unfortunate thing about this activity is that it will be current power which means that we will not be getting a light level increase for this i guess bungie is actually saving the light level increase for the final shape now into the light will be available on april 9th 2024 and the next live stream aka part two will be next week at 1 p.m eastern standard time in that stream the destiny 2 developers will be talking about all of the new and returning weapons and i will be streaming it on twitch at twitch.tv forward slash reckless xrp just like i did this recent stream now a few side notes before we actually end the video one of the players was alt tabbed during gameplay and the stream rushed to say that it was a development build and while i will give them the benefit of the doubt i can't hope but to wonder if we will actually experience something like this when into the light is released in april it seems that when bungie fixes one thing something else tends to break and yeah it's a constant thing i don't know we'll just have to wait and see Anyways, let me know in the comments if this information was helpful and if you guys are actually excited for Onslaught come April 9th. And that, my friends, brings us to the end. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe to my channel, like and share the video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.